Hello my sweet friends, my name is Adele and welcome back to another video. Alrighty y'all, today we're doing a vlog and I promised I wasn't going to be doing any more moving vlogs and that's not what this is, but it's another sort of organizational type vlog. Um, currently my office is like a huge fat mess. Um, because our breaker, like the electrical stuff is having issues and the breaker is like behind these bookshelves. <laughs> and we had an electrician come out yesterday to come look at it and they're still not done and they have to come back uh, another like sometime soon, but I don't know, we don't know when yet. So we haven't moved them back because it's a lot of work to like take everything off of it again. So right now everything is a huge fat mess and it looks awful, I know, but Today, we're gonna to be working on organizing this bad boy right here, this filing cabinet. Um, as y'all know, in one of the recent moving vlogs, we got a filing cabinet, I got a filing cabinet for my office, and um, I'm using it to hold, obviously, all my like papers and documents and notebooks and folders and like all of these like stationary office supplies that I have, and it's, not ideal like and I already knew my setup was not going to be ideal um, and it was just sort of to get it out of the way and now it's time to actually like, go through and organize it the way I want it to and try to condense some stuff so I'm gonna be going through and cleaning and organizing the filing cabinet so I'll go ahead and show you all what it looks like right now currently it's sort of a weird setup I guess because it wasn't supposed to be like this was never how it was going to be. This is like writing stuff, um, like current writing stuff, um, like Project Orion. And then like this binder is full of like old writing stuff from when I was a kid. And the second one, we've got um, currently used uh, notebooks and folders. So like a lot of this stuff is like keepsake stuff um, from when I was like a kid. And then these are all just like used, used sketchbooks, folders, um, some like pen, like pencils and pens and stuff. Um, and then this third one, again, a bunch of random stuff. Um, these are unused, if I remember correctly. These are unused notebooks, um, folders. I don't even see folders, honestly. It's all just unused notebooks. <laughs> Um, and like a bunch of random stuff. Like if glasses in here and everything, it's it's a lot of random stuff. And then the bottom one is like really random stuff. None of this is ah. This bottom drawer is like super janky. None of the stuff in this bottom one is are like actual documents or anything. It's all just like random stuff that I didn't really know where to put it. So ideally, I'd like to go through all this and like clean this all out. Also, if you'll remember, when I got this, um, the lady gave it to me with a bunch of these folder things in there. Um, I took them all out because I currently didn't have use for them because I was just trying to like put everything in here. So I've got about like 50 of these folders in the garage and I would like to make use of them. So I'm going to be organizing everything in a way that I can actually use these folders. Um, one issue I'm seeing that I have is I don't really have a lot of loose papers except for like keepsake documents and like things from when I was a kid because like everything else is like in notebooks. Like all my writing stuff I try to keep in notebooks. Um, I mean I do have, I'm sure I have loose papers. Um, I don't know if it's like enough to like really fill up one of these things but we're going to at least try to condense everything. So I'm thinking, because I know a big thing for loose papers that I have are the keepsakes and like old documents. So for those, I know that I can condense them into these folders. Um, I went ahead last night and I was writing like a little filing cabinet organization thing, I guess. I was just kind of brainstorming how I wanted to like put everything in here. So I think I'm going to be starting with the top drawer. It's going to be like important records. Um, like our company records, everything that's like important documents, financial stuff, stuff like that. Um, second drawer, also, none of this is going to be like super set in stone because for like important records and stuff, those are loose papers. So I can put them in these folders. 
but like that's not gonna be a ton of space like these don't take up a huge amount of space if I don't have that much to put in them so we're gonna sort of move things around probably and so we're just gonna like use this as like the framework also real quick I do have to say if I sound kind of weird I'm sorry I'm having terrible sinus issues and I'm kind of like running out of breath <laughs> pretty quickly um, and like my ears are like like one needs to be popped and like the other is like half popped and I'm just like I'm very congested allergies are crazy right now so if I sound weird that's what it is second drawer is gonna be all the writing stuff um, and like my notebooks and like productivity stuff and like sort of like notebooks and folders and stuff of things that I do typically need accessible like kind of often relatively often I suppose third drawer is going to be the keepsakes random documents things like random drawings and memory sentimental stuff that I have kept from when I was a kid sort of more like this is where we're gonna have some of the like catch-all folders that are just gonna have a bunch of random stuff and then kind of same with the fourth drawer I I feel like once I'm able to condense all this stuff it's going to be like way less space than it is currently especially because so much of how I have it it's like bulky and big and like not like how these are like super neat and organized so I feel like I'll have a lot of room so again this is tentative but for the last drawer I just have like random items with no home ideally I would like to have it full of like documents and stuff like that but again I think I'll have extra space which is like good and bad because I wish it was all documents but if it has room for me to put random stuff that I don't know where to put then it's a win-win <laughs> Okay, so as of right now, I think I've finished with all these like, important documents. So all of these here are the ones with like the important documents and everything like that. I tried to organize them as best as I could for like financials, like birth certificates, passports, and like, you know, house stuff, insurance stuff, medical records, stuff like that. Like I said, it is much more condensed, so I'll obviously be doing something else in here. Currently, um, I'm going to kind of stop going from like top to bottom. Next, I'm going to just do keepsakes because I have so many <laughs> keepsake things. All of this right here are like sentimental keepsake stuff from when I was younger. And it's all like loose leaf stuff and these folders are like falling apart. So I'm going to take them all out start putting them in here. Okay, really quickly, I have to share some things that I have found while digging. First of all, this picture of me that my friend photoshopped me into of One Direction. I just thought y'all would enjoy that. This picture from middle school. My big ass feet right here. Those are like the size of my entire shin. What in the world? <laughs> some more wonderful pictures of, I think it was like third. 13 or 14 there I think also my very faded movie ticket from going to see Star Wars the F Force Awakens except it doesn't want to focus it's super faded but and then I've got this picture of me that was cut out from a newspaper if it will load there it is boom and then some pictures some like photo booth strips of when I went to prom so those are fun 
Also, I know she'll be mad at me, but this picture that my mom drew of me when I was little. There we go. I think it's so good. My mom drew this picture of me when I was like seven. She does not like it, but I do. And then this entire stack are like all my writings from middle school, high school. Not all of them. Hold on. I will say that. Um, it's all like school stuff. So like this is a random school paper. Does anyone else do this? Like just keep school essays that like you're not going to use. It's like there's no point in me having this. And like all my newspaper printouts and my UIL stories um, from journalism because I did journalism in high school and then I found this which um, <laughs> are not relevant and these are from like middle school um, I think you would consider this my first fan fiction I suppose um, this whole thing this is like a whole ass thing of the shoot what is it called it's a book series i really liked as a kid and i still have them wait hold on wait up here this is like one of them what is the series oh my god i forgot but this series about dragons <laughs> but yeah a whole series about dragons i was obsessed and so i wrote like some fan fiction about it um and not only that hold on it does get better Boom. What is that? Why does it have anime eyes? <laughs> hold on. You want more? Oh, wait. Hold on. Ooh, look at that. I was a dragon kid for sure. Dragon species list. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. There's more. Um, oh, more dragon species list. Excuse me. For the different types. Dragon counselors. Gotta know that. Obviously. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Look at that. I signed it. I signed it. Oh, did anyone else sign their drawings? Because I definitely did as a kid. Here's another one. L Luficus. It's uh, doing something right there. <laughs> Joker foot. What in the world? And again, of course, all signed. Rala. Okay. I see you, Rala. What else we got? Clara. Oh, sorry, no. Clora. <laughs> I like how all the dragons, I gave them, like, all eyeliner. Rainfire. Oh, this one's fucking edgy. Sorry. Freaking edgy. Again, dark eyeliner. <laughs> oh, my God. We got another one here. Tw twists, I think, is what that says incredible oh my god i was such a dragon kid <laughs> i still don't understand this one i don't know if this was supposed to be in the same well i guess it is because it's got that dragon species thing there but i gave a weird anime eyes <laughs> anyway i just wanted to share that with y'all thought you'd appreciate it Spend some time working on all of this. Hi, Bub. Do you want to say hi? I've got stuff everywhere. <laughs> um, I think I've gotten all of the important documents and keepsake documents. Um, and I put those just, I went ahead and just put those together in the first drawer. I have them separated because this thing came with these like separator things. So back here is like keepsake stuff and then up here past this these are like important documents as of right now i know i have more but just like kind of going through this it's been <laughs> very um you know go back and forth kind of thing so this is what this drawer looks like now and then this drawer i haven't done much out of this drawer i don't think though so. Um, and then I'm working on this bottom drawer. This is all like random stuff I'm working on. This is all trash. And 
dog meat is helping me. <laughs> Currently, I don't really know what my next step is. The biggest thing I'm running into right now is like I have all these like random papers and like postcards and like little things that don't really have a home, as I said. Um, so I'm just sort of organizing those into folders, I suppose, or like the, the filing folders. Um, I'm trying to figure out how I want to do like my notebooks and stuff as well because like I said I have all those um, notebooks that are like full like spirals and like journals and I'm trying to figure out what the best way to like organize them in this filing cabinet what what that looks like so <laughs> I'm still doing that and I'm like putting small things together into like little pouches and everything so it's uh, it's a work in progress taking a little bit longer than I thought but I'm also like the type of person who like when I'm going through like the nostalgic stuff, I get so into it. I stop and I like, read everything. <laughs> so that's uh, that hasn't helped. Hi, good morning. It is the next day. Um, I woke up in like just a cleaning, organizing mood. So I'm going to take advantage of that and we're gonna get back to work in here. Um, everything is a big mess because you know when you're like cleaning and doing all this and there tends to be a point in the middle of it where like everything is like a way bigger mess than it was before. Yeah, that's what we've got going on right now, but that's okay. So we're gonna keep going with this. I do think I'm gonna change gears. Um, so I've been doing the keepsake uh, papers and you know, old papers and stuff like that in the filing cabinet. I think I'm going to switch gears. I've got, um, so you know how I've got this like built-in shelf thing in front of my desk? It's got under here these two like cabinets and they actually go pretty far back but they don't have shelves any or anything in them. It's like literally just like deep cabinets that like you can't really access and since I've got my desk in front of it I am putting things in there that I don't really normally need to access. Currently, it's got um, like extra electronics, like my other keyboards, um, and like my craft box. And I would really like to have my crafts accessible. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do all the keepsakes and stuff like that, just put them in a box. <laughs> I'm gonna just put them in a box and put them down there because I don't need to access them and they're taking up room in here that I could use for having the other stuff that I do want accessible. So I've got a box and I'm basically going to sit here. Um, all the keepsake stuff is in here so I'm gonna go through and take everything out of the folders. Um, at least that did let me organize them so the papers and stuff are organized kind of like like with like. Um, but I'm gonna take them out of the folders and put them in this box. it is about an hour hour and a half later um, I have basically just kind of been sorting things I've got things sort of set up um, I moved I most of um, the keepsakes that I have into a box put that in the cabinet so that's out of the way I brought my craft box out it's very big and it's very unorganized because um, everything is just thrown in it's been this way since like we moved from Texas. So crafts are together. I haven't started working on them. Um, I still have a few keepsake things that will go um, in the cabinet, like under the desk. And so I've got the first drawer is important records. And then the 
second drawer I've got writing stuff uh, as well as a few folders for like stickers and like prints and stuff like that because I have so many prints that I want to frame and like hang up and I just haven't gotten around to it. Second drawer also has um, some more pens, pencils, markers, erasers, stuff like that. Um, and I'm trying to figure out a better way because I still have this little um, set of drawer thing, set of drawers um, on my desk and I'm debating on if I want to keep that there or not just because usually I like having like a clear desk. I don't like having a bunch of stuff on my desk. Um, and in Texas it wasn't as big of a deal I guess because my the desk that I had was bigger. It wasn't a standing desk but it had a lot more storage and room because the standing desk doesn't have like any drawers or anything which is why I'm having to put like everything inside this filing cabinet. So I'm debating if I want to keep that on there or not. Right, my de right now my desk is like super cluttered. That is I've just kind of been throwing everything on there so it's not like there's just stuff everywhere it's not normally that cluttered but yeah so I may I may I don't know I may just leave it there for now and try to organize the drawers a little better but and then so far currently I've got third drawer as um, just all the rest of like my notebooks and stuff um, most of them as empty I think as they can be yeah third drawer is like mostly just empty blank notebooks or like notebooks I use relatively often for like to-do lists or whatever. Bottom drawer is going to be crafts. Like I said, I haven't started actually working on that. I still have some stuff in the bottom drawer. It's the same sort of random stuff that like doesn't really have a home. So I may just kind of put that stuff into like a thing <laughs> and go from there, see if I, you know, need it or end up just wanting to get rid of it or whatnot. So I think right now I'm gonna go ahead and start clearing out this drawer at the bottom, take that stuff out so that I can start organizing the crafts and moving them into the bottom drawer. I also completely forgot to mention that um, Alex's sister was here visiting us for about a month um, from Japan. I talked about that in the last few vlogs. Um, she was going through all of her stuff that like she had a bunch of boxes um, from her childhood um, at their parents house we got it from their parents house because we were living there um, and we brought it here and so she came here to look through all her stuff get rid of stuff decide what she want to keep stuff like that she is also a very crafty person <laughs> and ended up giving me like these stacks of craft stuff so I need to also remember to consolidate those and add that into all this crafts organization that I'm about to do. has joined me. Oh my god, he just farted. Oh my goodness. And they have been so bad lately because he's on a new food. As soon as I pull this up, bub, you lay down. Just hanging out. Laying in the middle of my work <laughs> that I'm literally in the middle of. This is what is currently happening. <sighs> he just came in and laid down. You're so stinky. You're so stinky. We celebrated his birthday um, on March 1st because we thought it was March 1st and then we found one of his like medical records uh, yesterday and his birthday is actually March 6th. So I made him a cake. I made him a cake and everything. Um, if y'all saw it on Instagram and it was so cute and he loved it so much and he still has leftovers in the fridge. So if he's a good boy and eats his food, he'll get dessert. And he's gonna be six years old. You're gonna be six years old, love. 
I know we told you the other day that you're that you're now six years old, but we were just joking. Well, I'm going to try to continue working with him right here. Um, honestly, the crafting's going well. Um, going a bit quicker than I thought. Um, I'm just kind of putting everything in here as organized as I can and like putting like with like and sort of condensing some things. Um, I do think I'm going to go back up to the second drawer where I had put um, like the pens, pencils, and markers and stuff like that um, and bring them down here just so I can see them all uh, because I found a bunch more in the craft box. So I just kind of need to see what I have and then decide where I want to put them. I've, it's been a really gloomy day, so it's been kind of hard to like stay motivated, but I'm trying my best. You are so soft, bub. He's so soft and he's so warm, like right here. He likes looking out this big window, or like the door, because uh, it's like a double glass door. He likes being able to um, look out at all the squirrels um, trying to take over his territory. <laughs> So we didn't really have a bunch of squirrels in Texas. Um, there's okay, hold on. There's squirrels in Texas. There's a lot of squirrels in Texas. At our house in our neighborhood in Texas, um, we didn't get a lot of squirrels. Also, just need to point out, he will do this anywhere. He will lay down on anything, just whatever's there. He likes resting his head on things. So now he's resting his head on my pile of pencils and embroidery and uh <laughs> oh, oh he's getting up he's getting up probably sees a squirrel hello everyone it has been a little bit i honestly don't remember what the last thing i filmed was uh sorry about that but it's a few hours later i've been working on stuff in my office obviously the filing cabinet and while working on the filing cabinet, it sort of just turned into organizing the entire office. <laughs> so I've been literally like just doing absolutely everything. Um, the floor is starting to be cleaned up a little bit. Um, I moved one of the bookshelves back because it was just annoying me. Um, I'm about to move this plant and put this other bookshelf back in there. I don't think I'm going to be able to put all the books and stuff back yet just because like I said, like the electrician is going to be coming. Um, and he needs to be able to get behind the bookshelf, so I'll probably just move it back for now. It has also started to storm and get super windy. It's not currently raining right now, but it's been like crazy windy. He doesn't like it, but he also doesn't like that I just shut this door. So this is everything that I've been working on. Um, this shelf for one. I don't think it's like complete, complete. Um, just because I've got like other trinkets and stuff. Like I had to take everything off of these. So I've got trinkets that are supposed to go on those, but like right now they're here. And so it's just kind of everywhere. Floor is almost clear and working on clearing the desk off right now. I also spent time like organizing some of these uh, drawers here and finally started putting stuff up here because I don't, I've just kind of been putting it off for some reason, so I just made this little cabinet in here, my little nerd haven. So, um, and I guess I'll show down here. So, it's not like super great lighting right now or anything, but that's sort of what it looks like. It's just boxes and stacks of things. And now the filing cabinet. Obviously the top is not done. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, but the insides look so much better. Top one, important records. Not all of these are filled, but I do have like extra ones. Um, but yeah, just like tax stuff, insurance, uh, you know, records like that for Alec and I, as well as the company. Second drawer. Oh, I forgot to put this paper into a file. Okay, there we go. So this drawer is the writing drawer. Um, again, got some empty space here and there. Um, these are the drafts of Project Orion. This is a notebook I'm using, another notebook. 
I just kind of put the folders in here. It's all loose paper and these, but I didn't want to take them out. <laughs> so I just put the folders in here. Um, back here, this one's got like stickers and fun stuff like that. And then this, like I said, are the prints. And this is a file thing for uh, Alec and I. So this is mostly, actually it's all empty notebooks, which I know is a ridiculous amount. Um, so yeah, I've got all these spiral notebooks and like journals and stuff. And then this is just, it's just got random stuff in it for now. <laughs> but I need to start using all of these journals. And then the bottom drawer is the craft drawer, which is like filled to the brim. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. This is craft stuff. I have it organized in these things here. And then like, it, it's like organized, but it looks like it's all just kind of piled on top of each other. This stuff on top just couldn't fit any other way. So it looks a little disorganized, but I promise it's got some sort of structure. Right now, I'm going to probably move this bookshelf back into place just so it's not in my way. Dog meat is just opening the door and coming in and out as he pleases. And I'm gonna keep working on clearing the desk off, push this back, um, fix the top of the filing cabinet, and clear off the floor. Um, but I'm gonna do that on my own time because <laughs> my back hurts and I kind of just wanna like sit down, not on the floor. So, and this is a filing cabinet video and it kind of just has turned into everything. <laughs> And I promised y'all I wouldn't do any more moving vlogs. I know it's a lot. So we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Um, thank you for watching. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, also, let me know if you want to see more videos like this. Like, not necessarily cleaning, but like organizing. And it's still like, it's still like in the writing realm. Because it's like documents and paper, like journaling, desk stuff. <laughs> So let me know what you think about that. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are new and do feel so inclined, I would greatly appreciate if you followed. Um, and other than that, I, I think that is all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm gonna see you all in the next one.